guys out here at Vance Park beautiful day out here in Oregon today I'm in a t-shirt and shorts as I sit here it's a little chilly but really not so bad uh, I had to get out of the house today it's just too nice out it's been pouring rain and or really windy lately so I took this opportunity to get a practice round in and uh, throw some shots finish up testing a few things and I figured before I head out of here maybe I'd kind of unpack some of the things I discovered about a few of these discs and just uh, yeah just kind of ramble it out to you guys so one of the things I was testing is this um, Hybrid Justice. Considering putting this in the bag for times where I need a little bit more stability than my anchor, um, or I really want a super sharp um, hyzer up approach, this thing works out quite well for that. Um, it's incredibly predictable. You know exactly what it's going to do when you throw it. It's just going to knife out on a strong fade every time. Um, this one's not quite as beefy as I was expecting for some reason, but... Um, still really nice hybrid lucid um, justice it kind of just looks like opaque lucid plastic that's how it feels kind of like my opaque uh, trespass kind of maybe a little stiffer but uh, definitely a nice disc good forehand approach disc as well considering throwing that in the bag for special occasions we'll see how that goes I also um, reinforced that this 165 ESP Thrasher is super flippy this thing is just really really understable it wants to go to the right all the time uh, probably only going to use it for um, big big turnover shots or rollers for the most part or maybe like uh, where I really want to go for max distance and put a ton of hyzer on it really rip it up high and let it work um, but yeah this thing rolls for days I like it for rollers a lot I can get it down quick and it will just stand up and roll super straight for a long way I actually threw a roller on nine I got it down probably I don't even know, 30, 40 feet in front of the T-pad. It was down really fast and um, just stayed perfectly stood up all the way down and hit the fence. That's was pretty cool. Also discovered that this ESP Glow is not nearly as overstable as I thought it was. I never thought it was overstable, but I thought it was more stable than my Z's. Uh, I don't think it is. Um, it actually flies really nice. Um, it's broken in a little bit now since I've been throwing it lately. And uh, I think it's just... Yeah, a really nice compliment to my uh, my Z's. It flies just about the same. Has a really nice feel. I'm stoked on having this one in the bag. Shout out to my buddy Andy. Hooked me up with that one uh, last year, I believe. Um, I also have uh, really been digging the Escape. I put this basic Lucid Escape in my bag. This thing is going about as far as my Thrashers, which is kind of crazy. Doesn't really make sense. Um, but the glide and the, it's a speed nine, but it just has huge glide and it just carries for days Love this thing. It's working out super well. So uh, yeah, look to keep throwing those I actually kind of want to get a couple more escapes and see how some of the newer runs are flying and different plastics and stuff um, I also had the chance to test this first run thrasher for the first time today it's a little bit more stiff than the original one that I had that I'm still trying to replace that I reviewed with the purple stamp, but it's real close. It's got that same kind of look to the outer rim and uh, similar feel. It's just not quite as gummy, um, but I think this one's going to be a really nice long range flyer once I break it in just a touch. Um, definitely getting me at least close to that old one that I really like. I also brought out this retro anchor to retest this guy. And I definitely dig it. I'd like to keep throwing this and beat it in, see how it flies. Like if I can get like kind of a beat up rock type flight out of it as it gets more broken in. Um, I dig the beaded mid-range vibe, so I'm going to keep playing around with that one for sure. And then I finished testing some review discs as well. The musket, this thing goes really far for how stable it is. It's not like a meat hook by any means, but it has a strong finish. Um, and it glides for days. Glides about as far as an escape. Similar feel, similar flight, but just a lot more fade. So I can get it to work over and come back. I can get it to fly a really long hyzer. This is a nice disc for sure. Um, I may hold on to that one and keep testing it as uh, something that's like one step up from my escape. I still haven't tried the getaway, which is also supposed to be like that. Um, Westside Maiden. Look for the review on this one coming out soon as well. Very point and shoot off the tee. Very, very straight. Um, and inside and around the basket, around the, inside the circle, around the basket, it actually fades out a little bit. So you have to play for a little bit of a drop on the putt with it. But uh, as it broke in, it'd probably be laser straight for putting and approaching. But off the uh, off the tee, this one's starting to break in for sure from testing. But uh, off the tee, it's really, really straight. Flies super nice. I like that one. Jason... Um, Jason Harden was crushing that disc too, throwing it really, really well. 
then I was definitely surprised by the breakout. Um, haven't tested this one a whole lot, still finishing up testing with it, but I like it quite a bit. It actually also reminds me of the Escape, it just has more, um, more turn to it and hangs up in the air almost as long. The uh, breakouts by nature are really lightweight, this one's 155, so I actually really like this disc. I think this is a pretty underrated flyer for kind of an average arm. It has a reputation of being like a super flippy beginner disc, I feel like, but it's really not. Um, it kind of flies like a little bit slower, um, lightweight escape, so this could be a really good option for any kind of, um, not necessarily beginners, but... Um, anybody who doesn't have a big arm and you kind of throw more for finesse or you like hyzer flips, um, this is a really nice disc. Also holds a turnover really well. Really surprised and uh, happy with the way that one's flying for sure. I think I might end up gifting that to my buddy who needs a disc kind of that he can go to for his just straight line distance shots. He's relatively new. Straight line driver could be a good option for him. So that's my video for today. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all very soon. All right, cheers.